Well, this is the old JVC video machine, all put back together again. And, uh, well, here we go on a test rub. Got to make sure it works after all. This is a top loader and was built in probably March or April 1982. There's a sticker inside that uh, says that on it on one of the motors. Switch on like that. The VHS tape goes in there. Press down till it clicks. It's supposed to have a soft eject, this thing, but uh, that's gone by the way, shall I say. These were made with a remote control, but um, not as you know it nowadays. I put it onto macro, you might see a bit better. There we are, that's the remote. And as you see, it's on a wire. Find the other end of the wire. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there we are. Yes. See, just a normal sort of jack. And it goes in there. That's home, right? Check and see if this remote thing actually goes still. It should do. Ah, there we are. Yeah, that's whirring away. Now, what you have to do here is just turn the knob there and tune it in. Where is it? No, not that. This television was new in about 1970, so I'm told. And there you are. The picture looks better than it will appear on the video thing. Which is just as well. There's a lot of glare. It's a very bright afternoon. Oh, well, this rear stat on here that he's changing really, but uh, I daren't meddle because uh, it is rather old and come to that, there's 25,000 volts inside these old things. Maria? Well, I'll just adjust the tracking a bit. Maria? Maria? Which is that thumb wheel down there. You've got a mechanical tape card on there, just like an old reel-to-reel -reel or a cassette tape. It's lovely to see you. This, of course, is made for the VHS PAL system. It wouldn't work in America. Well, that warning sign came off a very old electric railway line and it's sound advice, 800 volts DC through them, not a good idea to get involved with that. Anyway, hope you liked it and uh, we'll see you again no doubt.